ogini geke wapu mo ni huna nyanke chire kemo obugini geke wapu mo ni huna nyanke chire kemo chire ke kwe kwala kampuro nye gawa cho sondua mambwe ruru na leze na mo acho mo ahugi mo chire ke Kampuro nye gawa cho sondua Mambwe ruru na leze na mo Acho mo ahugi mo Obu ego geke wapu mo Ni huna nyanke chineke mo Obu huwa geke wapu mo Ni huna nyanke chineke mo Obu di geke wapu me Ni huna nyanke chineke mo Obu kwocho geke wapu muwe Ni huna nyanke chineke mo Obu enyi geke wapu mo Ni huna nyanke chineke mo Chineke kwe kwa la Kampuro nye gawa cho sondua Mambwe ruru na leze na mo Acho mo ahugi mo Chineke kwe kwa la Kampuro nye gawa cho sondua Mambwe ruru na leze na mo Acho mo ahugi mo my beloved ones, I want us to reflect today on that word, tongue. Tongue, inside our mouth. Ire, ire, ire me guru madono wa. What is this tongue all about? Tongue is a fleshy muscular organ in the mouth of a mama used for licking, for swallowing, for testing, for caressing, and by human beings for speaking. And I want today to focus on that aspect of speaking. So what comes out of our mouth? Sound we make with our mouth. Sometimes when we taste something that is sour, we may when we taste something that is bitter and when we taste something that is sweet it melts our hearts we feel so good and that is exactly what we experience when something good or bad comes out of our mouth That means, with our mouth, we can destroy. With our mouth, we can kill. With our mouth, we can damage. With our mouth, we can ruin. And also, with our mouth, yeah, we can give peace. With our mouth, we can give life, we can give love, and we can give joy. Unfortunately, our present society makes very light of lies and yet we know that lying lips are an abomination to the Lord and the mouth that lieth killeth us soul. Yes, and I ask, what do you offer with your mouth to people around you? Let us use our mouth to bless people not to blaspheme. Let us use our mouth to encourage people and not to discourage and to destroy people. Let us use our mouth to cancel and not to gossip. Let us use our mouth to praise God because in praising Him we receive blessings upon blessings in our lives, in our families, in our individual communities. An unmodified tongue or a lying lips is a danger not only to itself but also 
to your family, to your community, and society at large. Do not talk when you are not sure of things. When you are not there, the time that it happened, please do not talk. Why? The harm it brings, the harm it does, boomerangs on itself. Very, very dangerous. Many of our families have been destroyed because of our mouth, because of our tongue. Many souls, many hearts have been wounded because of our mouth, what we say. So what do we do to control our mouths? Hearing the word of God, read your Bible. Allow God to speak through you and not you speaking. That, is, that means giving yourself, displaying yourself with self-control. Do not talk when you are provoked. When you are annoyed, please do not talk. Avoid using vulgar words. Do not help us, especially when we are around the children. Please, let us be mindful of what we say. What comes out of our mouth is very, very, very important for ourselves and for God. And you yourself, what do you think that we can do to help us control our mouth? Drop your suggestions in the comment section. And from there, we move. Thank you and God bless you.